it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there. Hello and welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Aaron Forrest, and coming up in today's newscast, Israel intercepts yet another drone sent over the border from Lebanon. Meantime, ILTV meeting with one of the Holocaust survivors with whom U.S. President Biden had the honor of meeting last week at Yad Vashem. And finally, Israeli marathoner Lona Chemtai Salt-Peter springing back to top ranks in the latest world race. Israel reportedly downing yet another drone sent over the border from Lebanon on Monday by the terror group Hezbollah. Using means of electronic warfare, the Israel Defense Forces reportedly downing a surveillance drone near the northern Israel border with Lebanon. And the UAV, which appears to be a commercially available Chinese-made quadcopter, believed to likely belong to the Hezbollah terror group, a Lebanese-based proxy group funded by Iran. Israeli officials explaining that Hezbollah uses such drones for surveillance regularly. Likewise, this latest incident coming just three weeks after Israel bringing down at least three other Hezbollah surveillance drones sent into Israeli airspace from Lebanon. In late June, early July, the three previous drones were seen heading towards the Israeli Karish gas fields, which Hezbollah claims for Lebanon amidst stalling maritime border talks. And while Israel is saying they monitored the drones from before the time they even crossed the border, Hezbollah releasing a statement alleging that the UAVs are sent in efforts to keep Israel on edge. Following this latest incident, however, there have been no official or immediate statements released by Hezbollah, nor by Hezbollah's affiliated media. Moving on, Israel-Morocco ties getting better and better by the day, and especially now amidst the advancement of two new decisions. First, King Mohammed VI recognizing Judaism and Jewish culture as an integral component of the rich Moroccan national culture, and IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kochavi arriving in Rabat as the first Israeli army head to ever do so on official business. Joining me with more, live from Morocco, reporter Amin Ayoub. Amin, it's great to be back with you. Now let's start with Kochavi's visit. Uh, there have been pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel protests in Rabat. Is this a widely held sentiment? Actually, Aaron, it's not uh, widely held, uh, but uh, the sentiment usually is uh, held by uh, people who are even against the, the Moroccan the monarchy and the Moroccan regime. So I'm not actually... Uh, uh, I, I see that this is, this is a normal reaction to, uh, to an IDF uh, chief coming to, to Morocco. And it's not uh, something that is uh, widely uh, actually uh, uh, agreed upon by, by, the, by, the, by the Moroccan society. All right, well, so last November, Israel and Morocco signed a military uh, memorandum of understanding, the first such deal between Israel and an Arab state. And since then, there have been a number of landmark military cooperation agreements and high-ranking meetings between the two countries, particularly with respect to arms and intelligence sharing. What is Morocco most hoping to gain from this partnership? Well, the relationship uh, in the military and intelligence between Morocco and Israel uh, has been going on for many years, even before the Abraham Accords. And uh, what actually made uh, this uh, MOU very important is the, the way things will be moving faster and uh, in a clear way. So uh, Morocco will be able to get uh, more uh, Israeli uh, technology and uh, more Israeli weapons. And there are going to be more partnerships. So Morocco uh, is actually sharing the same uh, enemies as, as Israel and uh, regional partners, including mm -hmm. Iran, where actually uh, Morocco actually cut its ties with diplomatic ties with Iran back in 2018, uh, when it found out that it had connections with its uh, 
Uh, to watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.